Hello, everybody. I am Deepshika Rana from Quan Masters, and I'm very happy and pleased to announce that Bhuvana from Quan Masters got selected in Infosys as a system engineer. Very heartiest congratulations to you, Bhuvana. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, how is the feel? I mean, uh, was it your first interview that you cracked? Uh, yes, mom. I had actually failed two interviews before, and this was the first interview I got. I cracked, and I was very happy. And the first thing that made me like it was I was very confident because I got selected in on campus, right? And uh, uh, apart from that, like I was very grateful to Quant Masters because uh, okay. uh, like previously I had attended many drives, but then. Uh, after I did the mock in Quant Masters, like Sir gave me so much support, and I was uh, I could clear uh, Infosys. Infosys being dream my dream company, clearing that it was uh, like a dream come true for me. So okay, so uh, you had just uh, how many interviews did you give, give before? Before this, I attended two interviews. Now both the interviews I couldn't clear. Okay, could not clear. So this was the first interview cleared. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine, Bhuvana. So, uh, uh, when how how did you uh, start preparation for uh, the interviews? Uh, actually, I, uh, approximately a year ago, the first uh, this at this time I took the first company test form. At that time, I got to know that I couldn't answer even a single question. My level was like at the zero. And one of my friends introduced me to Quant Masters. I joined to batch six, and I can tell that that was one of the life changing decisions for me. After that, I could clear the first rounds. Like as I told, I failed in two interviews, but then a the first round I used, I could clear in almost all the companies I wrote, and uh, uh, I started preparing from Quant Master. Sir Himanshu sir taught the shortcuts where which uh, which was like uh, so much understanding in so much understanding way that even today I cannot forget his teaching, and I still I have the same thing in my mind. Even if you give me a question right now, I can solve without using a pen or a paper. So and even the technical part, uh, me being an electrical background, technical part was quite difficult for me. So sir taught taught in a very easy way where I could clear the uh, uh, technical rounds easily. And uh, yeah, so Quant Masters mock test helped me a lot in clearing uh, many companies. And uh, the times time management and all was the best. Like I, all I can tell this Quant Master is all round best platform where I prepared from. Yeah, you have to get up at six a.m. in the morning when everybody is sleeping, right? Yes, ma'am. But actually, you know, uh, when uh, even our college people gave the placement training, that was after Quant Masters. Even before mm -hmm. they could teach the thing, we could solve the problems easily. It was like very easy for us to cope up with the aptitude part and all. But then, uh, learning early morning will definitely refresh our minds, and we can easily register. No? Yes, true, true, true. So, uh, please tell us which uh, department you are from and uh, from, uh, from which, which college? Uh, I'm from Global Academy of Technology. I'm from Electrical okay. and Electronics Department uh, with an aggregate of eight. As a, like, uh, I completed my engineering recently, so my aggregate is eight. And uh, being in electrical and electronics background, technical, especially the programming part and all was quite a challenge for us because till the six sum or seven sum, we never learned anything from programming. Only when the placement started, we, we started learning. So uh, getting placed in IT company was definitely a bit tough for us. So you got placed in your uh, six sum or eight sum? Six, uh, seven sum, ma'am. Okay, you got placed in the seventh sem. Mm -hmm. So you started preparing for it, uh, like before how many months? Or... Uh, before Infosys, like two months before I started preparing, mom, aptitude and all. I joined and then, uh, yeah, info after two months, I I got placed in Infosys. Like the first okay, round, I cleared after two months. Okay, that's very nice to hear. I also want to ask you how many rounds were there for you in Infosys and was it like on campus, off campus? How did you go about it? Uh, Infosys was actually on campus drive for us. On 13 September, uh, our college people informed that we'll have Infosys on campus drive. And on the same day, we received a mail from Infosys telling that the first round of registration is completed. The next thing, like the basic information and all, we have to register. Like our marks, details and all was given by college itself. The basic uh, thing like our, our technical uh, aspects and all we have to mention so after that we uh, we registered and on 21st september we were asked to book, book a slot like in which day we are convenient to take up the test we had two options i chose 30th september which was the earliest because i thought i could complete it as early as possible so after that uh, uh, my first round was on 30th as i told it was on 11 it was at 11 pm 
and the next round after that uh, interview actually took a long time since it was on campus we had uh, they bifurcated the students as uh, phase 1 and phase 2 so i was i came under phase 2 i don't know i don't know what phases they just segregated but uh, phase 1 contained 25 people and phase 2 contained 15 people i was one among those 15 and our interview was like really late it happened in october and uh, like and uh, in october we got the results of first round and my interview is actually in december december phase 1 interview happened after 15 days we had our interview and after the interview after two weeks we got our results okay okay so uh, what was asked in the first round and then the second round first round would be your aptitude right yes ma'am first okay. round actually was it really Okay. Uh, yes, first round actually contained five sections. The first section was reasoning ability, which had fifteen questions and twenty-five minutes. Ah, uh, here the main, the most of the questions, like out of fifteen questions, five to six questions which I got was from syllogisms. Syllogisms ah uh, was actually quite easy, and apart from that, coding and decoding, ah, uh, especially the alphabets, like for a uh, one-one alphabet will be coded to one-one uh, other alphabet, and we have to arrange it, arrange it, and then find out the word, like. If, for example, if one, two, three, four is coded as A, B, C, D, what is three, four, five, six coded as? Like that, you know, the questions were there. And Coding. clocks and calendars, yeah, clocks and calendars, data sufficiency was there. But it is, uh, like one one question from each was there. But syllogisms was more of it. And the next part was mathematical abilities. It had ten uh, questions for thirty five minutes. And here, mm-hmm. cryptarithmetic was one of the uh, toughest question. But then it was easy. Uh, I had gone through many videos from Quant Master Sir. That had also taught, taught us, so it was easy for us. Apart from script arithmetic, we had number series, uh, decimals, fractions, and permutations, combinations, probability, data interpretation. Data interpretation included graphs, pie chart, uh, then gra- uh, tally graphs, and all. So it was quite easy. After and it had thirty five minutes, but I could complete this round within fifteen minutes. As I told, uh, apart from script arithmetic and one question I got from logarithms. Apart from those two questions, I never used pen or paper for this round. And uh, the oh. next was verbal ability. Oh, that's so nice to hear, actually. Yes, that's ma'am. what Imanshu said tells in the lectures, right? Yes, ma'am. Don't use pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next is verbal ability. It had twenty questions in twenty minutes. Ah, uh, here actually it was quite. I felt it was quite difficult. Then it was because the one word substitution question was more of it. Like uh, a phrase had to be substituted in one word. The uh, the thing was which which I felt tough was the options. Ah, uh, words were there. No, that was quite ah uh, complicated and I couldn't understand. Two options I understood and two options I couldn't understand. But then, apart from that, the three or four questions were from that. Apart from that, synonyms, antonyms, and all, ma'am had taught really well, so we could uh, easily do it. And uh, verbal ability, para symbols, and paragraph or uh, like reading comprehension, five questions were there. Apart from that, para symbol, uh, error identification, all the those were included. The next was pseudo code. Pseudo code had five. Uh, we had five questions and ten minutes. It was actually easiest part in the whole paper actually because I had it from uh, like really easy questions, the basic ones I had. I have one question I had the basic uh, addition subtraction uh, thing. The other I had from the stack operation, push and pop operation. Other from, uh, uh, one more was from pointers. One was from the type increment decrement I plus 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 I that thing I had, and other was from uh, trees I had. So it was quite easy. And the next one was puzzle. Puzzle actually, uh, I had four questions. Three question I could do it easily. Like ten minutes, four question were there. Those three questions I could clear in three minutes. But the other question I tried solving in many ways. But then uh, each way I got different answers, and all the answers were not in the options. So I don't know what was wrong. Finally, the time was over. Okay. So after that, uh, uh, I thought uh, I I had confidence that I could clear this round because I knew I had done well. And uh, after a uh, few days, like in October, I got a uh, mail telling that I have been cleared the first round and I ha- I'll have the next round. So after mm-hmm. the first round, the next round was interview. So my interview was scheduled on. Uh, Uh, it scheduled in December. Ah, uh, uh, one like two days before, I got the mail telling that I'll have my interview uh, at this time and this day. So at that mm-hmm. uh, that day, I had my interview at twelve o'clock actually, twelve p.m. Mm-hmm. I logged in at eleven forty-five. Usually, it's better to be before the time, so I logged in at eleven forty-five. That ma ah uh, ma'am uh, allowed me into the meeting, and she told that uh, she has some work. She like she was in a meeting, and she will be conduct re- rescheduling the meeting to one thirty p.m. So I, I told okay, and I just left the meeting. After five minutes, I received a call from Infosys telling that they have rescheduled my meeting to one thirty p.m. 
So at 1:30 p.m. I again logged in, and uh, that time she was uh, she first tried to smooth the environment. Like she asked how I am and I did I have my lunch. Then I told I didn't have my lunch, so she told that she can understand how tense I'll be and she'll complete it faster. Yeah. And then uh, she asked me uh, to tell me about myself. So after uh, I told that, then she asked me about projects. Uh, the most important thing she says was on projects. I had done three projects. I explained everything in technical aspects. After I explained everything, she mentioned one project and asked me to explain, thinking that she's a layman. Like if she were a layman, how would I explain that project mm -hmm. to her? Then apart mm -hmm. from technical terms, I explained that that to her in general terms, like how practically the project works and whatnot. Then later, uh, she asked me about my internship. I had done my internship at IIT Roorkee. She asked me whether I did it uh, online or whether I went there. I told her I went there and did like it was an online uh, on-site training. I went there for a month. And then she asked me what exactly I did there. Uh, I told whatever project was assigned to us and what the weekly targets we had to do. She was quite convinced with that. And then she asked, one one month you have gone there and you have done so much, but then uh, uh, you it's something like. You have you will carry something which will be which will be useful for your life. What is that one thing you learned from there? So mm -hmm. I explained how difficult it was, how we tackled the situation, and how we could accomplish what what was assigned to us. You know, she was quite impressed with that. And later she asked me about uh, the skills which I know, like the technical knowledge. Um, I had mentioned C, Python, and MATLAB, so she started asking technical questions. But she asked about C. She asked me about pointers. She asked me about uh, uh, dynamic memory allocation, call by value, call by reference, and all. Then she asked me about uh, uh, arrays, linked lists, and all, Python data structures, and all. Then she asked me how will you uh, how will you assign a, and how will you access the dictionary? What is the difference between lists and tuples, and all? Then she asked me how will I explain MATLAB to a layman? Like thinking she's a layman, how will I explain MATLAB to her? Okay. So I told her how uh, actually it works and how. How practically people view it, like how we started learning MATLAB, you know. She told, mm -hmm. okay. Then she asked me about my hobbies. So um, I told my hobbies, and she asked me, uh, my hobbies included poetry writing and novel reading. She asked me one, uh, two novels, two fiction and two non-fiction novels which I have read, and I told her. She told, she asked me about my favorite author and why do I like him. Uh, I explained even that. Later, she asked me in which language I write poetry. I told her I write in Kannada. Then she asked me if I could remember any of the questions, uh, any of the poetry. Then I told mm -hmm. her, I don't remember right now. She told, if you can take a book and read, it's fine. Actually, my book was there. I told her I have to go off screen and I, I need to take the book. She told it's okay. Get it. And I got my book and I, I first explained in what situation I wrote that poem. And then I, I read the poem. Then she told, okay. Then she asked me whether I know something about software development lifecycle. Mm -hmm. I told her that I just know the steps involved in it. She asked me to tell the steps. I told and I explained the steps as well. Then she asked me whether I know any types in it. I just told I know waterfall model. Then she asked me whether I know uh, any, uh, like how waterfall model works. I told no. Then she was like, okay, no problem. And she asked me whether I have any questions. No, I told no. Then she left me. So it lasted for around 35 minutes. Okay. So uh, in aptitude, uh, you could not toggle between uh, the no. sections, right? Once no. completed, it's done. Yeah. So whatever you mentioned in your CV, it was all asked, right? Yes, ma'am. Whatever Everything I mentioned in the CV and uh, whatever I mentioned in my, whatever I mentioned when I was telling about myself, the same thing was asked. Nothing else. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, uh, like, did she ask you about your? Uh, you are you are from which background? Electrical and electronics. Mm. So uh, she asked you about the core concepts. No, ma'am. No, she no, no just, uh, just, just programming. Like yes, C, C++, just programming. she asked you. Okay, fine. So fine, Bhuvana. That was such an insightful session from your end. And uh, like there, there are many students who will be uh, watching you uh, on YouTube. Yes, uh, so uh, like, uh, please suggest some platforms they can start preparing for or uh, the mock test uh, they sh they can give or practice where can they practice it from or some some great takeaways from the session or some do's and don'ts yes, like where to emphasize more on uh, yeah but talk talking about Infosys Quant Master training is like uh, the whole round platform for them to prepare and taking the mock test like now apart from Quant Master if they get any platforms like they can try India Wix and all if they could solve more problems and then it will be very helpful but taking the mock test with the time constraint to uh, with that live environment boost their confidence 
and the first of clearing the first round as i told it's not at all difficult point masters really uh, is like help students ace it easily and when coming to the interviews it depends on the hr but most importantly if you if we clear the first round most of them will be selected in the second round in infosys they just have to speak properly and confidently in the case that even if they don't know the answer they have to confidently tell that they don't know and uh, the and they shouldn't blabber or they shouldn't think take much time to think about it and they should be perfect in whatever they mentioned in resume like uh, some people like one of my friends mentioned that she knows c c++ python in java but she didn't know any of it and when the question was asked she couldn't answer it so whatever they know they have to mention in the resume and it uh, they will just ask you from the uh, resume and it's better to keep it clear so that uh, you you they not you cannot uh, you will not have that embarrassing moment in front of the interviewer where you don't even know the concept and you will be asked the question but and uh, as i told confidence is the key if you are confident enough you can definitely ace it easily that's all and even like uh, from my, my other friends and all uh, who have got placed in infosys they all they all also told the same things more or less the questions were the same they have to be well prepared based on their projects if they are from cs background and they have done any projects then uh, cs projects they will emphasize more on it like they'll go in depth and they'll ask about the concept but if they are from non it background and all they'll be asking more of uh, like more of uh, c c questions and whatever skills they have mentioned based on it yeah they have to be confident while answering that's all so if they ask you about their company or the role they'll no. be offering you nothing no. some hr questions that that's all uh, no none, nothing hr questions also they didn't ask now like she just asked me where i am from that's all okay okay bhuvana so thank you for this uh, session thank you for sharing your experience with us i hope many students will uh, uh we benefited uh, when they will watch the video if they are preparing for infosys or uh, any other uh, exam uh thanks a lot and all the very best for your future bhuvana thank you so much ma'am thank you